Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now going to answer question number four from the October 2022 International A-Level Pure Mathematics P3 paper. Uh, this question here is about logarithms. And we are told that y equals log to the base 10 of 2x plus 1. And we are told first to express x in terms of y. What that means is you must make x the subject of this equation. So you have to rearrange this to make x the subject. So the first thing we need to do is realize that this, the x term is trapped inside the logarithm. And in order to free it so it can be made the subject, we should rewrite this in index form. So we have y equals log to the base 10 of 2x plus 1. Now, to write this in index form, we have to understand that. For example, if I know that, um, you know, the log to the base a of b equals c, then that can be rewritten. This a is the base, this c is the power, and b is like the answer. So it's a to the power of c equals b. So here this means that um, 10 to the power of y, 10 to the power of y is equal to 2x plus 1. Right, so now what we need to do is make x a subject. So we can subtract 1 from both sides and divide by 2. So we can say x is equal to 10 to the power of y minus 1 divided by 2. Simple as that. So that's part A done of this question. Now part B says, hence, giving your answer in terms of x, find dy, dy dx. So we have to differentiate this okay, um, function and find what dy dx is. Now, the function is given to us in terms of x, and it says hence. So we have to use this form to find dy dx. Now, we can't find dy dx directly um, unless we use knowledge from P4, which is called implicit differentiation. But we're doing P3, so uh, you know, you can, if you use that, if you have done P4 and you know how to do implicit differentiation, it's perfectly fine, you can use that at this stage. But I'm gonna show you for those students who are just doing P3, because some students take the P3 exam earlier before they've done P4. So I'm going to show you how to do this using P3 techniques. An implicit differentiation is something from P4. So here what we can do is instead of finding dy dx, what we can do is you can find dx dy, because we have x in terms of y. So if we differentiate x in terms of y, we've got dx dy, and then we can write down the answer as it's reciprocal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into two separate terms. So I still have it as x equals. This is like a half of 10 to the power of y minus a half. So a half times 10 to the power of y minus a half. So now I can find dx dy. Now something which is in the form of you know, a to the power of x, the differential of a to the power of x with respect to x, that becomes a to the power of x times lin a. That's one of the results that we have learn about differentiation for exponential type of functions. So you differentiate, for example, 2 to the power of x. With respect to x, you get 2 to the power of x times lin 2. So if you differentiate 10 to the power of y, it's going to become 10 to the power of y times lin 10. So this is going to be a half times 10 to the power of y times lin 10. And when you differentiate a half, it becomes 0. The minus half becomes 0. So that's what dx dy is. So dx dy, dx dy, is equal to 10 to the power of y lin 10 over 2. Now, we want to find dy dx, so we're going to write the reciprocal of that. So we're going to just turn it upside down. So instead of 10 to the power of y lin 10 over 2, we have 2 divided by 10 to the power of y and then lin 10. Now, the question says, giving your answer in terms of x. Now, we have y here. We have 10 to the power of y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the y with um, what y is equal to from the beginning, which is log to the base 10 of 2x plus 1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens here. You've got 10 to the power of log to the base 10 of 2x plus 1. Now what we have here is we have a function and the inverse function combined together, which cancel each other out. 10 to the power of something and log to the base 10 are inverses of each other. So it's like having f and the inverse of f of x, and it just gives you x. They cancel each other out. So 10 to the power of log to the base 10 of 2x plus 1 is going to just give you 2x plus 1. All right? So that's, you can think of it like that. They cancel each other out. 
So we can write that 10 to the power of y as 2x plus 1, because it's 10 to the power of log the base 10, 2x plus 1. So then dy dx, therefore, is going to be 2 over 2x plus 1 times lin 10. And there's the answer to this question. All right, so that's an important principle here, that when you have a function, composite with its inverse, they kind of cancel each other out, leaving you with what's inside the function. So that's part B, and I think that's the end of the question. That's right. So that's question number four, completed from the October 2022 paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found um, in the playlist that will appear in this area at the top of the screen. Other questions from exponentials and logarithms of, sorry, of P3, of P3 can be found in this playlist that will appear over here. So the P3 October 2022 paper will appear over here. The playlist for exponential logarithms of P3 over here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can click on the link in the middle. Thank you for watching and see you soon.